Hello, I'm John Conley. No matter how great the world looks through rose-colored glasses, there comes a time when we need to take them off and look at reality. And this is just such a time. Since Davy Crockett and before, Tennesseans like you and I have enjoyed this great tradition of hunting and fishing in our state. Davy certainly had dangers in his time, but none like one we have today. And that's the danger of losing this outdoor tradition. Tennessee's landscape is changing. Political winds are constantly shifting. As the population of the state continues to grow and more of us live in the city, we're becoming more and more disconnected from the outdoors. Today, hunting and fishing in Tennessee could be banned by a vote in the General Assembly or a misguided lawsuit. The only limit to the will of the state legislature is our state constitution. This fall, voters will elect our next governor and will have an opportunity to amend the state constitution by adding an amendment that says, the citizens of the state shall have the personal right to hunt and fish subject to reasonable regulations and restrictions prescribed by law. The recognition of this right does not abrogate any private or public property rights, nor does it limit the state's power to regulate commercial activity. Traditional manners and means may be used to take non-threatened species. Hunting and fishing have long been a part of Tennessee history, lore, and culture. This is our chance to protect our outdoor traditions in perpetuity. As my children have grown into young men and women and I think about what their future will be, I have truly come to realize those things in life that are to be treasured. During my two tours to Iraq in the United States Marine Corps, one of the things, in addition to the support of my family that kept me going, I was looking forward to the time when I could get back home and get out into the green outdoors of Tennessee. Hunters and fishermen are the greatest source of conservation funding in America. Much of the publicly funded land we enjoy for hiking, biking, bird watching, camping, and other activities wouldn't exist without regulated hunting and fishing. My interest in the outdoors is more than a casual one. I believe we have a responsibility as humans to take care of our wildlife, to be good stewards to the Earth's resources. That is why I'm pursuing a career in wildlife conservation. Early voting is October 13th. I hope you and your family will join me and mine and go to the polls and vote yes. Please encourage your friends who may not know about the amendment to go to www.huntandfishtn.com and learn about it.